Blackout is a game with many different and unique firearms. Today I will rank every single one on a tier list, from S tier all the way down to F tier. I will rank these guns in price order, so we're gonna start off with the cheapest guns and build our way to the most expensive guns. Let's start off by talking about the Glock. Priced at $600, this little gun packs a ton of power for its cost. You can find this gun basically anywhere due to its high stock. Now, in my opinion, this gun doesn't really need attachments to be good. I feel like it's a really good gun on its own. The Glock basically checks almost all boxes. It has a really low price, it has good damage, good armor penetration, etc, etc. But there is one thing about the Glock that pisses me off, and that is the firing animation and the muzzle flash. The firing animation and the muzzle flash on the Glock is by far one of the most annoying things new players have to deal with. For some reason, whenever you shoot, the slide of the gun will cover your crosshair, and this can be really problematic in certain situations. This is why I highly recommend you use third person with this gun. By using third person, you will be able to see enemies better and not have to deal with this animation and the insane muzzle flash. So yeah, in my opinion, the Glock is a solid B to your gun. Okay, now let's talk about the next gun, the 725. Now, uh, I have a really big question. Who the f*** uses this gun? No, seriously, who uses this? In my 700 or so hours of gameplay, I have never seen anybody use this gun. Okay, jokes apart, I did see a couple people use this gun, but most of them were just low levels. Once you reach like level 10, this gun becomes completely useless. I don't exactly know what's wrong with it, it just feels weird to use. Maybe it's the damage range or something, I don't know. The clips you're seeing right now, they were just recorded a few days ago because I never really used this gun consistently. Overall, this is just a pretty boring gun and so for that reason, it's going in F tier. Now, like I said at the start of the video, Blackout is a game with many firearms, but that doesn't mean every firearm has a purpose. The gun we're going to be talking about now is the M1911. To me, this gun just feels like a filler gun, a gun added just for the sake of having more guns in the game. Speaking of the gun itself, it's just a slightly better Glock. It basically exchanges ammo size and fire rate for more damage, which isn't a bad thing, but still, in my opinion, I think fire rate and ammo size are the most important factors of a gun in this game. Why? Well, it's because, first of all, the average FPS players get on this game is below 60, so hitting consistent shots when you're getting 40 FPS isn't going to be easy, especially when people move like this. But still, when your FPS isn't dying and people are moving like normal beings, this gun is actually pretty good. It does have the same problem as the Glock where the slide covers your view, Although, the fire rate kind of mitigates that problem. So anyways, this gun is gonna go in C tier. Up next, we have one of the most recently added guns, the Uzi. Now, unlike the previous guns we just reviewed, this one is a little bit more expensive than the other ones, costing around $1,600. But trust me, it's 100% worth it. For $1,600, you're getting a gun with 40 rounds, a good iron sight, good recoil, and good fire rate. The only area where this gun is lacking is in armor penetration. But honestly, that's completely fair considering what you're getting already. But yeah, so I think this gun is a solid A. Okay, now onto the next gun. The TAC-14. I really don't know what to say about this gun, it's just a shotgun. It only has one problem, it doesn't one-shot all the time, and I really don't understand why. It doesn't one-shot even if you hit people point-blank on the head. I assume Silver, the developer, made shotguns underpowered because he saw people complain about them in other games, which is understandable, but making a shotgun not one-shot, even at close range, is insane. I feel like this gun just needs a slight buff to become A tier, but as of now, it's a C tier gun for me. Okay, now let's talk about the G18. Okay, do I actually have to talk about it? It's literally just the G17 but automatic, dude, just f off. Okay, so the G18 is just the younger brother of the G17, and it sucks. Once again, it seems like all the pistols in the game have all the same problem. When firing the G18 in first person, you will not be able to see anything. What the hell am I looking at? I don't know if this was intentional or not, but it's still pretty annoying. Overall, the G18 is a pretty bad gun that's outclassed by most other SMG. It's an E tier gun for me. The next gun we're going to be talking about is by far the best sidearm in the entire game, the Deagle. Now, personally, I don't like this gun, not because of its stats or anything. This gun is scary in the right hands. It three shots on the body and two shots on the head. Of course, the damage the gun deals comes at a great cost. The gun only has 7M on its magazine. And given the fact that Blackout is a game with many teamers, you're not gonna be able to do much with 7 bullets. Then there is the optimization issue. Even if you're insanely cracked at FPS games, you're not gonna be able to use this gun to its full potential. 
Like, how are you going to do two headshots when your average FPS is 20? So, if you're someone that goes above 100 FPS, this is the gun that you need to master. Once you master this gun, you will become unstoppable, trust me. Overall, the Deagle is a B tier gun. Okay, now let's move on to the MP5. I honestly don't know what to say about the MP5. Sometimes it feels like it shreds through people, and sometimes it feels like it shoots marshmallows. To be fair, it is one of the first guns you unlock, but sometimes it just feels like my bullets aren't doing any damage. The good thing about this gun is that it has literally no recoil. With no attachments, it still has some recoil, but it can easily be controlled. But once you put attachments on this thing, it literally becomes a laser. But yeah, so I think the MP5 is a solid C tier gun. Okay, so the next gun is the Mac 11. It's just the MP5 but worse. That's it. D tier. Now, let's talk about the SPAS 12. This is probably the least used gun in the game, and for a simple reason. It's ass. Now, if you've seen me in game, you're probably really confused, given the fact that I use this gun a lot. But when I use this gun, I use an ammo attachment called Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath essentially turns this gun into a flamethrower. No! What the frick? This is probably one of, if not the best gun to kill operators with. With the Dragon's Breath attachment, of course. Without attachments, this gun is completely useless. First of all, it takes ages to reload. Like, dude, by the time I'm done reloading this, I will be done editing this video. And second, it has barely any range. This is why the Dragon's Breath attachment is so good, because instead of dealing two damage, you can burn the enemy and slow them down, and then kill them with another weapon. Overall, this past 12 is a C tier gun. We're starting to move on to the bigger guns. Now, let's talk about the crossbow. It's just the M24 button. Okay, look, I can't really talk much about this gun considering I don't really use it. I feel like guns like the M24 are way better than this piece of shit. The only reason why I think someone would buy this gun is if they had no access to Dragon's Breath, as it is a pretty good alternative to it. Because yes, this gun can also burn people thanks to one of its three different ammo types. There is regular arrows, stun arrows, to be honest, nobody really uses these. And finally, there is incendiary arrows, which are by far the best and can slow down enemies for up to 10 seconds, which is insanely broken in certain situations. So yeah, the crossbow is a solid C. Okay, so the next gun is the M24. Just like the Deagle, if this gun is mastered, it can make you unstoppable. Back then, this gun would one-shot you in the head no matter what, even if you had a helmet, which was insanely overpowered. Because of this, it was later nerfed, as it should have been. Still, after the nerf, I personally think this gun is one of the best guns in the game. Even if you encounter someone with an helmet and hit an headshot, it's not gonna kill them, but it will take away half of their HP, which is still a lot. So yeah, the M24 is definitely going in A tier. Now, let's talk about the best gun in the game, the AK-47. I don't care what anyone says, but this gun is the GOAT. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's giving me me! That's why he's the GOAT! Look out! It does way more damage than the M4 at the cost of recoil and fire rate. But if you're good at FPS games, you should be able to control it pretty easily. The amount of insane plays I've done with this gun is a lot. I could make like a 10 minute montage of just AK clips. S tier. Okay, now let's talk about the G train. I don't know what the developers were thinking when they decided the price of this gun. This gun is stupidly expensive. It costs 6.5k. Is the price justified? Sort of. The G3 is a gun that excels at long and medium range combat, although it's pretty bad up close because of its bad fire rate. It also has a ton of penetration, which makes it the best gun to take down armored players. B tier. Next up, we have the GL, or Grenade Launcher. It's just a budget RPG. This thing got nerfed so many times, I sort of forgot if it was still good or bad. I tried using it a couple days ago, and it's still pretty good. I highly recommend you bring a second gun with you when using this gun, because when hitting someone, they're not always going to get stunned. A tier. Okay, finally, let's talk about the last gun, the AWM. Okay, so the AWM is the gun you get when reaching level 40. It costs 11k dollars, which is f***ing insane. This gun is literally just a better M24. Basically, if you hit someone on the head, it will one-shot people no matter what. I really don't understand why this is 11k. You can't even put a reflex sight on it to make it better up close. B tier. But yeah, so that's it. This is my tier list. Please consider liking, subscribing, becoming a member, donating. Any sort of interaction with this video is really appreciated. I spent two whole weeks on this video. I'm not joking. If you're going to donate or become a member, just know that uh, most, of the, uh, most of the money will be put back into the channel. Right now, I am saving up for a new CPU and a new editing program, which costs like, I think it's like $600 altogether. So if you want to donate, feel free to do so. But yeah, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you enjoyed the new editing. So yeah, goodbye.